Today we're following up on the Google IT Support Professional Certification that I did way back in 2020, which feels like yesterday. In this video, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys because I want you to have the best results that you can, right? That is the entire point of why I do this channel is to help you out. So I am often very authentic and genuine in the thoughts and opinions that I share with you here. But today we're actually going to back up what I'm saying with some facts and results based on what we've seen with the Google IT Support Professional Certification, which is a mouthful. So let's get into this and talk about it and really break it down and give you the information you're looking for. What you really wanna know here is, is the certification still relevant? Is it useful? It's been a couple years. It's been out for really quite a few years now, at least four years now, I think at this point, it's been out for a while. And what I can tell you right now is it is going to be great information for you to learn. It's a very fundamental based certification, so it's definitely geared towards entry level jobs. But to be completely honest with you, it's not a certification that is often requested. If you go out on Indeed and you search for Google IT support professional or any variant of, you're not going to find a lot of jobs being posted asking for that certification. And the same thing could be said on LinkedIn even. You could probably search other job platforms out there and have very similar results. It's just not a certification that a lot of people are requesting. And when you're looking to get a true entry-level IT position, they're often going to hire you based on your personality and your ability to learn anyways. But in 2022, it's just not a certification that I would even remotely count on in helping you achieve a position in IT. And I say this because when we look at the cost of it, and it says here on the main page even, that it could take up to six months to complete. You can learn for free for the first seven days. There is financial aid available. I'm not sure what that consists of, but if you were to pay for this out of your own pocket, it's about 39 bucks a month. And if you're looking at about a six month time frame to go through all of their training and get that certification, you're looking at you know somewhere around $300, right? Well, if it's gonna cost you that amount of money and you're not seeing a lot of results, it's probably worth it to go after something like the CompTIA A+, which is very similar to the certification. However, the CompTIA A+, certification is an industry-wide known certification. Now, this one does cost a little bit more money, like 400 something dollars, I think, at this time. And it is two exams, but the total cost, I believe, is around 400 so dollars. And you can get training for free out on YouTube from Professor Messer. So I would strongly suggest that you look at that route because as you can see here, the CompTIA A Plus has around 4,000 open jobs from employers that are looking for people who have the CompTIA A Plus certification compared to the Google IT Support certification, which has 28 jobs. So I think you can see kind of the value here. I'm not necessarily knocking Google for what they've done. They've done a great job putting the certification together. It has a lot of great information that can be valuable to your learning experience and that will help you move forward. But it's just not a certification that I would look at to help you gain employment at this time. Yes, they do have success stories. And yes, it is possible. I'm not saying that by any means, it won't be possible go by going through this path. You'll see in the comments below that some of the people who have gotten the certification, I'm sure will come comment on this video and say, I have the certification and I got a job. Yes, anything is possible. But if you wanna have the best results that you can, and if you're looking around that same price point, I would strongly suggest that you go after the CompTIA certification because it's just a lot more valuable. So as I said, when we started the video, I just wanted to provide you guys with some actual facts in regards to the certification. There are definite possibilities through getting the certification. It can be helpful to you learning for sure. But again, I gave you a better alternative, I believe. So I'm sorry, Google. They'll probably punish me for saying all these bad things about them time and time again. But I promise you, Google, I love you. I've been a fanboy of yours forever, but these are just the facts. So I hope you found this video useful. If you're looking for more information about the Google IT Support Certification, I'll put links to that and for the CompTIA certifications in the description below so you guys can find that easily and go on your merry way and begin your journey in IT. So good luck to you and as always, take it easy.